Last night, Spartans defeated the Cardinals 3-1. to one. Young picking up the victory in net for the Spartans, going 19 out of 20, giving up only one goal. Wiles got the start last night and took the loss, but 54 out of 57, only giving up three goals in the game. He'll get the start again tonight. Spartans are able to do so. Davidson has it, sends it down low, and that shot is going to be off of the iron, and the rebound put back is in the net. The initial shot catches the iron, and then the rebound is put back in on the weak side. C.J. Davidson first off to the bench for glove taps. Red River 1, Battle Creek 0, 15.32 to go here in the first period. Five shots on goal so far for the Spartans, unofficial. No shots on goal on the board for the Battle Creek Colonels. They did put one on net earlier, but I guess that was not deemed to be theirs, their first shot on goal. An easy shot in, turned aside by Bonneville. Big hit behind the net. Wharton involved again for the Spartans. Spartans looking to break right here. Potential two on one. Direct gets to it. Gonzalez and the goal is in. Direct uses that speed to get to the corner, get to the loose puck, throws it to the slot area. And the Spartans are on the board again. 2-0 in favor of Red River. Gonzalez picks up the goal. That's going to be his 10th goal of the season. Team leading 10th goal of the season. And seeing his parents over here in the bleachers, very, very excited, very proud right now. Colomietz out to Indelicato. Indelicato skates over the blue line. He's got Gonzalez with him. Everyone crashing towards the net. That's a massive hit right there. And we see the referee's arm come up. And we see players come together briefly. Now they separate Spartans on the delayed penalty call. Looking to get the shot off right here. The man coming out of the box. Almost able to get free. And there's a scoring opportunity for Battle Creek. And an incredible save by Bonneville. Three, two, one, Referee will blow the whistle. Martino will take the puck from center ice. He'll move in slowly. Now picks up some speed, head towards the net. And he'll go ahead and put that puck into the net, beating Wiles. Penalty shot goal for the Red River Spartans. It's 3-0 Spartans with 18.28 to go here in the second period. Spartans get a good shot on goal right there. Wiles. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. That bouncing puck goes outside the post. That is a massive hit over there along the wall. And Delicato takes his man into the half wall. Referee's arm goes up immediately and the whistle blows and we're going to have a penalty. Big hit right in front of Sam Knight over there at the scorer table, Templeton. Got rocked into the glass, looks around, tries to figure out what number that was. That ran him over in traffic. We'll have a penalty call right here with 11.21 to go in the second period. Martino skates, comes out high, goes to the middle of the ice, goes down the slot, and fires into the net. Martino lulled the defense to sleep. Everyone looking for the pass. And Martino just slices and knights right down the middle and puts the puck into the net. That goal has been waved off. Gill gets to the loose puck first. He'll fire it towards the net just wide of the glove side of Wiles. We've got another huge collision behind the net. And that's going to bring us a whistle with 7-11 to go here in the second period. That's head for the Spartans, number 10. Reverses it on the backhand, sends it over to Ingersoll. Ingersoll to Templeton. Templeton over the blue line. And a massive collision. Wharton involved again. For the Spartans, Jesse James Aitken then comes in and takes his man out as well. 
Big hit, Owen Ingersoll getting taken down. Another big hit, Postelli and Wharton getting after each other here in the neutral zone. 20 seconds to go in the power play for the Colonels. They move the puck over the blue line, hold. Send it all the way across the zone. Eddie's got it, fires it towards the net. Bonneville had it, rebound loose, and that puck is in the net for Battle Creek. Second, possibly third rebound opportunity on the putback. Finds its way past Bonneville, and the Battle Creek Colonels are on the board here with 2.17 to go in the second period. No scoring opportunity for the Spartans. Sebesto comes away with it, settles the puck down, moves into the offensive zone, but Spartans come away with it. Martino now trying to slice through four defenders. Unable to do so, gets taken out of the play, but it stays in the zone with Davidson. Referee's arm goes up, delayed penalty call. Spartans throw it towards the net, and that puck goes in on the delayed penalty call. Van Neck spun around and threw the puck towards the net, and it found its way in to the surprise of, I think, just about everybody out there on the rink, including the goal scorer, Van Neck. 11-13 to go in the third period, four to one in favor of the Red River Spartans, number 88 Van Neck puts the puck in the net. Spartans, two Colonels all digging away at it, now three Spartans, and it was Suss who comes in, pulls the puck out of there, and he'll start with the wheels through the neutral zone into the offensive end. Suss gets the pass back, but could not get the shot to go. In the corner, we've got players coming together. Wharton fires the shot, and Wharton scores, making it five to one for the Red River Spartans, and the Spartans celebrate right in front of us here at the Perch. Wharton's been physically engaged in this entire game and playing much bigger than his frame might indicate. Wharton with the fifth goal of the game for your Red River Spartans. Eddie holds out the blue line, sends it across. Battle Creek looking to get one more opportunity for a score before the end of this game. The Spartans clear the puck out. Thomas Durrett is going to win this foot race. He's going to get to the puck first. He's going to reverse course and send it all the way back down the rink. An incredible piece of skating and penalty killing right there by Thomas Durrett. Spartans get to it in their own defensive end. Durrett picks it up in the neutral zone. He's looking to cut down the middle shorthanded. He does so, and he scores! Thomas Durrett shorthanded while being pulled down from behind. Puts the puck over the goal line, then puts his body entirely into the cage, knocking the cage off. It's a three on five shorthanded goal for Thomas Durrett. Puck is down, Spartans remain on the penalty kill. 20 seconds remaining in this game, six to one in favor of the Spartans. Battle Creek though. Scores on the power play to make it 6-2 to two with 16 seconds left in the game. Battle Creek outscores what they accomplished last night, picking up their second goal of the game. Jakob Kirkhab with his second goal of the game continues leading the Colonels in scoring. Final seconds of this game. Battle Creek sends the puck over the blue line, and that's going to do it. The Red River Spartans... Win their fourth game here in Clarksville, remaining undefeated at the home rink. And they secure a victory 6-2 to two tonight and the weekend sweep over their Great Lakes Division rivals, the Battle Creek Colonels. And the Spartans are victorious here on home ice tonight against the Battle Creek Colonels.